What's up guys? So today we are doing some groundhog trapping. Yesterday I said about over a dozen groundhog traps. So we're checking them this afternoon and we got a double on groundhogs right here. This is our third location. First two we did not even get anything to hit the traps. So I set two conna bears. There's a hole like right down there. And we got one right there and one right here. So I had a 160 on this trail coming out to the soybeans. And you can see how bare it is right here. There's so much, they eat so much of these beans and we just gotta get them out of here as quick as possible. So we gotta, this one was, this looks like a yearling for sure, pretty small one. Come back here, this one was actually still alive when we got here so I had to put them out with my pellet gun real quick. We got them like super far back on the butt with the Kana bear. This was with the Bridger 160, this is the only one of the Bridgers I have and I've always had problems with these Bridgers not getting a good head catch like the one over there did and that's a Duke Kana bear. So we'll go ahead and get these reset, get them out of here, and we'll probably have some more because we still got a whole bunch of groundhog traps to check. Alright, at the next location along this creek, you can see all the soybeans are gone right here. There's just so many groundhogs. And I got some traps up. We got one right here. And we got one right here. Another one over there. Oh my word, there is groundhogs everywhere. We've got three so far. I've had mostly conna bears on trails coming out. Now we'll get this one out, these ones out first. Man, that's a big groundhog. Got him in a 160 on the trail. That's the first one. And there's a little baby going in this one and a half. There he is. For a good catch on that foot. Here's the last one, pretty small looking one, right on the top of the head with the 160 and on the body on this trail. Alright, checking more traps along this uh, creek, got another one right here, this trail 160. This place is loaded with groundhogs, I cannot believe this, I've never caught this many groundhogs in one day. We got more traps up here, another, three more. Another groundhog there, little guy in a 160. Uh, another little guy right here. Is he dead? Yeah. He got caught in a little foothold trap. And he died somehow. That is weird. And then right over here, got another one in a 160. There's still one more, one or two more traps down here. Uh, nothing. Alright, so we're going to get all these groundhogs out of the traps, get them all reset so we can get, catch some more that are living here, and we'll get started with today's video. Okay, so I just forgot I had like four more traps to check at a different field, and we got three more groundhogs. On our way here, we actually saw one out in this field eating beans that ran in. So we got one right here. You can see how much it caved in this area because it lives down in the tile. So we got there coming out into the bean field and you can see how bare these beans are right here. There's just no beans right here because they eat so much. And right over here we got another one and this is where the one we saw when on our way down here run into. There's a hole right back up in there and we got one right here with flies all over it in a 160. And right over here was my last trap. Now we have another groundhog in. It looks like he ran into the trap because he was, you can see which way he's going in. Pretty small one in a 160. All right, we'll get all these reset and then tell you guys what we'll be doing today. Real quick, here's all that we got. 11, we got 12 because I threw one of them out already. That's the most groundhogs I've ever caught in the day. That is crazy. So we're not gonna be eating any of these guys because they are like all rotten with flies all over them. There was one or two of them that were alive we could have ate, but I hate cleaning them. They're so hard to clean and I barely get any meat off them, so we're just gonna chuck them out. Let the buzzards and coyotes eat them. As you guys know, this is the year of the cicadas, so we are gonna do a cicada catch and cook today. I've never tried one of these before. I've heard they're actually pretty good, so instead of just picking them off of trees and making this boring. We're, I got my blowgun 
and we're going to try to shoot some, get some good shots. Alright guys, spotted one. He's sitting right there on the tree. You got him? Oh yeah, we're getting Here, him now. Try to get Alright, I'm, I'm going to take the shot. Oh, did you get him? I think I missed him. Yeah. He's still there. He's going to let us take another shot on him. Oh, oh he's got, got him. him! My dart fell out of him. There oh, we go. We man. got us. A, we got us a kill with the blow gun. All right, let's put him in the bucket. <laughs> One down. Many yeah. more to go. Yeah! He got his wing. No, he came off. Got us a little tree frog or something. Let me know in the comments if you know what this frog is. Really small looking brown tree frog with like dark stripes on its back. Alright, we got another uh, cicada right here on this tree. We're gonna take the shot. <gasps> it's like. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Alright, so we've waited actually, we've actually waited a while to do this video and. A lot of the cicadas are already dying off, so it's kind of we're kind of struggling to find the a lot of them. So we got three down so far. I'm gonna try to find some more. Got a world record mulberry right here. You Did I pin him? You missed. Let's act like I didn't shoot that time. All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Oh, he's good to work. Oh my word. It just like ricochets off of there. Oh, we got him. Oh, yeah. We got him. Oh, yeah. They're on that tree. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh no. Get him! Where'd he go? I see it. I see it. He's up Where'd in the tree. Go? He's in the tree. Oh, is this him right here? Yeah. Filming? Yeah. Got him! Woo I almost caught that thing out of the air, though. <laughs> oh, did you hit his How head? How did I not? These darts, like, bounce off of them somehow. Oh, did you get his butt? I don't know. I, oh, I got his wing. He just ripped right through it. Oh, he got his other wing! Oh. Oh, man, he's a fighter. He will not die. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the fishing girl falls on there. <laughs> we got him. It's man, a barely got him. That was a close one. There's no butt on it. Oh, holy him. Yeah, he got him. <laughs> yep. Yeah! Send him to the tree! Check him out. Yeah, that's right. Right, the abdomen. There's another one right there. in the bucket. <laughs> Look at the size difference. Jeez. That's nasty. I'm, I don't want to eat that one. Probably got a larva inside of him. Okay. Yeah! Oh, yeah! This is some good practice for squirrel hunting this fall. Because, yeah, we're definitely be shooting some three fish off yeah. the squirrel. All right, I'll do a far one then. Okay, we got one right here. Got about a 150 yard shot. Miss. Oh, I thought I nailed him. You sure? Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Best fire starter. If It'll light. It's out. It'll light. See? It's your lighting. Alright, we got a fire going. Ready to cook up some skaters. There we go. We got about 10. Yeah. We're gonna fry them up. We got, we're gonna put them in some flour and fry them in some vegetable oil. Yeah, I think they'll turn out pretty good. Nice and crunchy, I'm guessing. All of it? Yeah, more than that. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so we're just gonna take the wings off. Just like that. We're gonna do that with all of them. Then we're just gonna put flour in there. And then when our oil's ready, we'll just dump them all in there. So the pan's ready. It's not ready. <laughs> Water test two. 
Oh yeah. That's ready. I'll just get some flour. Shake them up. I don't know if this flour is gonna. I don't think it's gonna stick. Really good. And then we'll just throw them on the oil. The flour is like very not even doing anything. The um. They might be done. They've only been on there for two minutes. This looks so gross. It does. That looks disgusting. <laughs> they just... Ugh. They smell gross. <laughs> Tons of salt. Sheesh. You don't taste it. Okay. Jake's going Ouch. after him. Just put the whole thing, like whole that. thing in. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? There's no mushiness. Oh. It's just crispy. Okay. Eh, not bad. Oh my gosh. Tastes like a kale chip. <laughs> a <Yeah>. kale chip? <laughs> yeah. That's not bad at all. Eat another one. Okay. Here we go. Cicadas. Oh. <laughs> that is not bad. I was, There's like, I was expecting way worse. <laughs> There's like nothing inside of it. Yeah. It just tastes like a crisp outside. With a hollow inside. Is that the fat one? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Just eat it. <laughs> okay, not Brett. bad. Yeah, without that'd... salt, it'd be pretty gross. Yeah, be kind of bland. I did. I do think we burnt them a little bit though. Wow. <laughs> Brett's eating one. Oh man. What do you think? Are you serious? I don't, I don't get what you think's nasty about them. They're not bad. Taste salt. It just tastes like a chip. Yeah. Salty chip. Oh, it tastes like it tastes like pork rinds. Oh. That's what I think it tastes like. Yeah, different texture. Burnt, very burnt bacon. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. We actually thought those were pretty good tasting, except Brett for some reason. So, good. so if you guys still have cicadas around while you after you watch this, make sure go out and catch them, try to find them and cook them up, fry them in some oil because they were. I think they were pretty good. It was really crispy and pretty delicious. How much do a raw one? Dollar. No. So that's it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.